Well, if you will, turn your Bibles to Galatians chapter 2, verses 16 through 20. While y'all find a place out there, y'all go get it up. I had a rough time finding what God wanted me to say this morning. And I was, it was Thursday night, I'm sitting there and said, God, I told him God, I said, God, just show me something. I hope it does me come to this. I didn't think God was going to take it there this morning, but I couldn't do it without him, so I'm going to do what he does, not me. But I did. If you got some place to say amen. Amen. Well, if you are, let us read verses 16 through 20. It says, Knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by the faith of Jesus Christ, even we have believed in Jesus Christ, that we might be justified by the faith of Christ, and not by the works of the law, for by the works of the law, that we shall no flesh be justified. But if while we seek to be justified by Christ, we ourselves also are found sinners, is therefore Christ the minister of sin? God forbid. For if I build up again the things I have destroyed, I make myself a transgressor. For I threw the law and dead to the law, that I might live unto God. I am crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live, yet not I, but Christ that have been in me. And the life which I now live, in the flesh, live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Let's pray. Thank you, dear Lord, for this great day to give to God. To come here, God. Bless us all, God. And God, I pray, God, that if there's one here today, God, that don't know you, God, that I pray that they would just, their heart would open up to you, God, and they would see how great and awesome you are. And God, I pray, God, that if there's a safe one here today, God, that's just having a rough time. And God, that we just, our joy is gone. And that we even show the love of Christ in our life, God. I pray, God, that you would just touch us today, God. And God, I pray, God, that you hide me behind the cross, God. Because I couldn't do without you. Let them see you and not me every day, God. And God, I thank you, God, for so much for what you've done in my life. Thank you so much for Jesus. That he gave his life for us. That he loved us enough while he was hanging on the cross. That our sins was on his shoulders. And he loved us enough that he, he could have came off. But he did because he loved us. I thank you so much for that. And God, I just praise you and I glorify you today, God. In your son's name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, if you will, let's look at verse 16. It says, Knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by the faith of Jesus Christ. Even we have believed in Jesus Christ, that we might be justified by the faith of Christ, and not the works of the law. For by the works of the law, shall no flesh be justified. It says, telling us if we try to live by the law, obey the law, live by the law, it's not justified, it's not acceptable to God. Because we'll always mess up. We can't, we'll try to obey the law and do what the law says, but we're always mess up. But it says, but I have faith in Jesus Christ, even we have believed in Jesus Christ, that we might be justified by the faith of Christ. See, if we have faith in Jesus Christ, knowing that He came, lived a perfect life for us, died on the cross for us, but He said in three days He's going to raise His life, just like He did. He did. And that made a way for sinful man to get the Holy God. Amen. We have faith in Him. That's how we're accepted. Yeah. And it goes on to say in verse 17, But if while we seek to be just by the Christ, we ourselves are also are found sinners. See, while we're seeking Christ trying to follow Christ in life, we're still found sinners. We all mess up. We all sin. None of us are perfect. I'm not perfect. Are you? No. No. But if I sin, I mess up, I still see Christ. I see Christ because He came and died for me. Yeah. I see Christ. Because he didn't stay dead, but he arose from the dead. He's alive today. Yeah. Yeah. Is he? Yeah. Are y'all dead today? Yeah. <laughs> right, y'all. But it says, let see what the Bible says. It goes on to say, Is therefore Christ the minister of sin? God forbid. Christ ain't the minister of sin. He ain't the teacher of sin. Right. He don't teach us how to sin. Because we did that in the garden. We sinned against God. We, he didn't tell us to sin. He didn't teach us to sin. But you know what God is? He's the forgiver of sins. Right. If you right. 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 right this morning, right. He forgave right. us. Mm. And then verse 18 says, For if I build again the things which I destroy, I make myself turn to prison. See, it says that we try to live by the law. We try to meet the requirements of the law. We do so good. We try to obey it. But we're human. In our flesh, we're sinners. So we'll mess it up and destroy it. We'll disobey. 
It won't. It ain't accepted. But it goes on to say in verse 19, For I, through the law, am dead to the law, that I might live unto God. Saying, if we die to the law and try not to meet the requirements of the law, and just live and trust in Jesus that He came and saved us, then we might be able to live for God, right. not for the law. Right. Hmm. It goes on in verse 20. I love this verse. It says, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ lived in me. Right. See, when we're saved, we're dead with Christ. But how many rows He came and lived in? He's living in us today. Yeah. Right. He lives through us. And it goes on to say, it says, in the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who, who loved me and gave himself for me. See, when we're saved, he's in us. He's coming up hard. It's not up here, but it's here. <laughs> and if we're really saved, we will have faith in the Son of God. We'll, we'll follow him and do what he tells us, not what we want to do. We don't do it because we want to do it, because he loved us enough that he died for us. And gave himself for us that we would want to follow him and be more like him. Yeah. And if you're here to if you're here today and you're saved, you're wanting to go tell people about him. Not sit around, oh well, I'm saved. That's it. I'm gonna come to church. <laughs> oh, this is fun. No, if you're truly saved today, you want to go out and tell people of Jesus that we have hope. We have hope in Jesus Christ because He came and loved us enough that He died on the cross. Even though He hung on the cross, our sins was on His shoulders. He could come on the cross and say, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it for y'all. Y'all ain't worth it. But He loved us enough that He did. He died for us. And He rose from the grave and said in three days, Dad gave us a way to get back to the Holy God. Just have faith in Him. And it tells us that we should teach all nations. Well, we might not be able to teach all nations. But can't we go to our neighbor? Who's right next door? Can't you go tell your friend that how much you love us? Show them the love of Christ. Because He lives in us. So we should be telling people and showing them the love. Not coming to church. Now, I might make some people mad, but we should be coming to church and judging each other. Because Christ didn't judge us for what we did. So we should be judging other people. Right. And we should be showing them the love of Christ. Because He showed us enough love that He died for us. Right. So if you're here today, and you're saved, <clears throat> y'all got me all tore up. <laughs> you might be here today, and you're saved, and you're like, well, I've been going through a rough time. I ain't been coming to church and showing the love like I should. I ain't been showing the love of Christ in my life. I ain't been telling my friends about it. I've just held it to myself. I've messed up. Anything that you have messed up with, he's here reaching out his hands. So just give it to me. You might say, well, I'm going to try to fix it myself. We can't do that. I try to do that and I mess it up. I was here and then it just kept getting lower and lower and lower. And he's reaching lower and lower for me. So if you're here today and you're having a rough time, give it to him. Come to his altar and give it all to him today. Okay. And you might be here today. You're like, well, I think I'm saved. I don't know. I come to church every Sunday, Wednesday, every time the door's open. I try to be a good person. I try to help people out in life. Well, can I tell you what it says in John 14, 6? It says, if I get there. It says, Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by me. <laughs> By Jesus Christ. Not by what Cody Lawrence can do. Not by what I can do. But what he done for us on the cross that day. So it says only by him we can go to the Father. And get to him. Not by what we can do. But then you might be here today and you're like, well, I know I'm lost. But I'm going to get my life straightened up before I come. I'm going to get my few things straight up. I'm just a bad person. I'm an alcoholic. I'm just... I'm... Anything. I'm a liar. I steal. I do drugs. But it says in Romans 5 8, it says, But God commended His love toward us, 
and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. He didn't die for us when we were good little boys and girls. He didn't die for us when we got our life straightened up. He died for us while we were sinners, going to hell, just down low, steep. Amen. He died for us. He didn't die for us when we were good. I think you might be here today, or, well, I know I'm not, but I don't have it to say. I really don't know how. Well, can I tell you, it's just as simple as what Romans 10, 13 says. It says, For whosoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Just call out to Him. Know that you're a sinner, that Jesus came and died for you, and that He's the Son of God. And just call out to Him for you. And He'll save you today. And whatever decision you're going through today, He might be dealing with you with salvation, he might be just dealing with you because you've not been the person you should be for Him. Not living for Him, but living for yourself. Because you're selfish. Don't be selfish. Give to Him today. Live for Him. Because He loved us enough to die for us. We should live for Him because of how much He's done for us. I'm going to turn off to Brother Jeff and let him finish it up.